hello friends welcome to v student blog in this video we will be uh, discussing on active directory certificate services and uh, we will be doing some lab related to this so we will be discussing about uh, what is this uh, active directory services and uh, what is the roles what are the roles and uh, we will look at the architectural diagram uh, which is uh, I took it from Microsoft site thanks to Microsoft for providing that wonderful uh, uh, diagram so and uh, after that we'll we'll go to our lab and we'll uh, work on uh, configuring the active directory services and all stuff so uh, so what is active directory services uh, active directory certificate services so this is like according to Microsoft uh, a active directory certificate service is the is the server role that allows you to build a public key infrastructure that is PKI and uh, provide public key cryptography uh, digital certificates and uh, digital signature capabilities for your organization so there's a little bit to unpack here if you double with the public key infrastructure that is PKI uh, before changes are uh, like the that uh, you realize that you don't need ADCS to build a CA and certificates for signature as well as so many other use cases are uh, uh, readily available online as well so why bother with ADCS the clue here is uh, like uh, the word provide truth is that relatively uh, simply to create your own CA and uh, sign a handful of certificates with the tools such as uh, OpenSSL so you could also buy a few certificates from CA like uh, global sign or GoDaddy and install them uh, like manually or you can buy it from GoDaddy so but uh, ADCS uh, does more than that it allows your organization to distribute certificates from a CA at a large scale for companies with the thousands of employees and possible even more machines so how does it work so how does it do that that's all we see so as uh, its name would simply active directory is a directory service for windows at domain network therefore the cornerstone of uh, each active directory implementation or active directory domain services so ADDS will uh, store information about users computers and groups in a domain but uh, all we, uh, all verify their credentials and uh, set access rights uh, like every employee of a uh, company is uh, uh, registered uh, with HR and has a file detailing all his or her relative information ADDS maintains uh, this information for members of uh, domain uh, ADDS being the additional uh, functional uh, directory so information this is uh, registered to this directory may be leveraged by other active directory services such as ADCS okay so uh, <coughs> uh, so these are the, like the overview of uh, a active directory uh, certificate service and what are the benefits so benefits of uh, ADCS so uh, few are the benefits like uh, you can pull from active directory so you can use the existing endpoint identity information that exists in AD to register for uh, certificates to avoid re-registering this means that users and computers registered to your AD can have their information automatically in inserted into the certificate so no one would want to manually apply all these so right so uh, and uh, leverage uh, existing group policy you can configure AD group policy rules for uh, groups of particular users uh, defined in AD example all employees working in uh, any department to uh, decade uh, with the users and um, machines are allowed with type of certificates this is great to implement a role or attribute based access control so and uh, um, one of the one more advantage is uh, automate certificate provisioning with uh, life management life cycle management so once an endpoint uh, comes online for the first time uh, a request is sent to AD to check which certificate type uh, or a uh, so-called template the endpoint has access to based on the group policy so based on the results of that uh, result uh, on the request uh, the endpoint requests the appropriate certificates which are then sent back to endpoint and installed 
certificates can be set it uh, 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 automatically renew as often as you like so and uh, pure like a silent installation so these are the benefits so actually when you when you uh, look at the roles we have five roles uh, oh sorry six roles like a uh, certification authority web en uh, web enrollment online responder network device enrollment service certificate enrollment policy web service certificate enrollment web service these are the all the service roles so we'll be discussing about when we when we install the active directory's uh, certificate service so if you go to the architectural diagram like this i took it from microsoft as i said so if you see here how the end user is getting a certificate from a from a ca uh, and there is an active directory in different three three environments so this is just a overview to to show you the overview how it works i just put it here so in our lab like uh, we'll be ha i i'm having already an active directory server uh, and uh, and it's uh, directory name active directory server name uh, domain name is uh, flc.com and uh, ip is 192.168.0.30 and uh, our active directory certificate server is, server is uh, 192.168.0.28 so i already built these servers there uh, the server is already added to domain and it's ready to use so we'll directly jump on to the server so uh, the it is having uh, two cpu and 4 gb memory so firewall is disabled it, uh, rdp is enabled so uh, this is the ip so i just an overview so this is already added to active directory and uh, now we'll directly go to installation steps so here uh, when you open the server manager so you need to go to manage add roles and features click next so here we need to select the active directory certificate services and add feature and then I, I will simultaneously installing IIS so click add feature and click next next so when you do this uh, it will uh, uh, like uh, it will install the role one one by one so we can also install uh, this role also at a time and uh, we'll just click so we are doing to installing we are installing two uh, roles now so if you see here uh, you can see the description of the particular role ca is used to issue and manage certificates multiple cas can be linked to form a public infrastructure so when you click the role the description is available here uh, pretty simple to understand so there is nothing complicated in this so we'll j just go through it and uh, it, it's very simple so so i will be adding two roles for now and click next next so is uh, these are all the default is components which is getting installed when i click next so i will select this restart the destination server if required and initiate the installation process so it will take a few minutes so i will pass the video and when this is done i will get back to you so is installation is ready uh, it's completed so we need to install now uh, like configure active directory certificate service on the destination server we click it and we'll be using our uh, administrator domain administrator account to configure this click next as i said we'll be selecting these two roles so it will take time to pop up okay and uh, click next so here we have uh, uh, setup types of the ca that is uh, one is enterprise and one is standalone so enterprise uh, it might be a uh, enterprise ca must be a domain member and or typically online to issue certificates or certificate policies if we select standalone ca standalone cs can be members or a group of domain C standard CA standalone CA do not require AD DS and can be used used without a network connection that is uh, if it is server is not in online so the uh, the difference uh, one of the difference I, I observed is like uh, when I go for uh, enterprise CA 
I will be put, I, I was able to see the certificate templates uh, in the CA CA console, but uh, when I when I install uh, standalone CA, I'm, I was unable to see that is a major difference. Uh, so we need templates to deploy uh, to create certificates. Uh, so I will click next by selecting the enterprise CA. And uh, how this is the first uh, certificate server that is root server. So if you are creating any other certificate server, then we'll be going for sub subordinate CA, which is pointing to the root CA. For now, I will be selecting root CA and we'll click next. So I, uh, th this is a, uh, like uh, I will be creating a new private key. So I will be going with the defaults. So this also will go for uh, cryptographic options default. So here, like we, I'm just giving the common name. Click next. So default five years. I will be going for that. So this is the path for database location. The and uh, once you click configure, you know the configuration will start. So again, we'll pass the video. Oh, it's done very quick. So we'll close it, and it's done. So here the thing is like this part is done so if you go to administrative tools windows Administrative tools you'll be able to see a new one that is called co certificate authority where uh, we are just logging we are going here to validate if some issue is there you won't see the green tick mark here so we have five five sub options here where we can see uh, like uh, one is revoke certificate issue certificate pending failed so if you if you some somebody <coughs> submit a certificate request that will be pending here and you have to issue the certificate once you issue it uh, it will be moved to issued certificates so if you want to revoke like revert back or you, uh, something decommission and you want to revert back, revert back certificate uh, once you uh, select the server uh, certificate and uh, click revoke uh, that will be visible here and any certificate that is any request is failed or something will be listed here and this is the what I was discussing about the certificate templates uh, so these are all the default templates uh, most of the time we'll be using the web server so uh, uh, like anything we can right click and duplicate the web like uh, duplicate the web server uh, uh, certificate so so these these are the like a uh, basic installation so so uh, like as I said we need to run a command to see the actual certificates where we can duplicate it so so this is the overview so okay when you duplicate any certificate it will be listed here so give me a sec so to open the <coughs> certificate templates like uh, one is using the command uh, we can open it and one is like uh, just right click it and go to manage so uh, like this is where we can uh <coughs> see tons of templates and where we can duplicate a template just go to any any template and uh, so <coughs> and just right click you will be able to see a option called duplicate template so uh, so we in our next videos we'll be creating a duplicate template for one of uh, my vm horizon <coughs> connection server that i will show in uh, my next videos upcoming videos so this is a <coughs> basic basic overview of uh, how to install a active directory uh, certificate server on a on a machine so which is an active in a, which is audit to, uh, to a dd so that's all for this video and uh, I, I will show how to uh, like uh, request a certificate and self sign how to request a, how to create a self signed certificate how to request a certificate all I will show in my next video so also we will work on uh, creating a template uh, for an uh, uh, duplicating a template uh, so thanks guys thanks for joining uh, this session and uh, I wish you, you this video is informative and uh, We'll join in our next video. Bye-bye.